Artificial intelligence has definitely changed the game. Richard Cox and I are going to share with you today the one tool that you can utilize right now that will set you apart from all the agents in your market. All right, I'm joined by Richard Cox today, a good friend of mine. Now, Richard, we've been uh, in a mastermind and been help holding each other accountable now for over five years. It's power of the network and reality with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services and being able to have people like this share ideas. We're going to talk about something that Richard shared with me today with RPR that is available to everybody that is super. Um, it's amazing how quickly things have been changing. So, Richard, you want to talk about this artificial intelligence um, and what this looks like with RPR right now? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to share my screen so we can get straight to it and showcase kind of what the what the value of it is. Now, RPR, for those of you that aren't familiar, that's the Realtors Property Resource. And so if you have a, a, a hard time getting into it, just know that it is NARRPR.com. That will get you to this screen. So this is the main screen that will pop up as soon as you log in with your RPR account. And this is a free service through your NAR dues. So actually, if you guys are ever wondering if your R NAR dues actually go towards something, well, it goes towards this at least. <laughs> so you right. see the front main page here. And if for people that are familiar with this, I've used it for forever for CMAs, just for general property research, for uh, databasing, for farming neighborhoods, everything. But there are new tools that are inside of RPR. So you'll watch my cursor go to the screen and type and click on the research tab here. So there's a lot of different uh, uh, options there, but what for the purposes of this, what we're going to look at is neighborhood search. Now you can do it in any of these research tabs, but what we're really going to look at for, for this is neighborhood search. So I'm going to go into neighborhood search. It will give me this blank screen here, search for neighborhood. Now you can do a city or a state. If you're trying to do wider net ranging research, you can do Greenville, South Carolina, where we are, or you can even narrow it down for a zip code. Or like, for example, where you are, Jimmy, you could even go to the watercolor neighborhood and get right. it as specific as that. For this, I'll, I'll show you guys, there's a, there's a new development neighborhood in Greenville called Hollingsworth Park. It's a great new master plan community. So this is just a spot for us to start with to give you guys a jumping off point. I'm going to type in that neighborhood that's going to pop up here. I'm going to go over to the search side and I'm going to click search. So that's going to come up with, and if you've done these neighborhood reports before, this is all going to look real familiar. It's going to show you the type of market that we're currently in. It'll give you the statistics about list of sold price, your average sold price, all of these graphics. These are great if you're having a first time buyer conversation to really help walk them through what's going on in the market from a real high level perspective. But Good. what if what if I'm trying to have a market update on a periodic basis to send out to my email list? What if I'm stuck on what do I post on social media? How do I inform people about the market? I'm not real sure what I'm going to say. Well, over here to the right hand side, you'll see that you have an option to share. But what we're going to do is create a script. And so then that's going to bring up a prompt that will use the power of AI to help you get over the hump for that. So there's three different options in each of these. I can choose an audience that is buyers and sellers, buyers or just sellers. And over mm -hmm. here on the left-hand side, I can, you can get in here and play around with it because it will generate something new and different for every single thing that you come up with, right? So I want to decide if I want to be professional. Do I want to be engaging or do I want to be conversational? Just for this, I'm going to show how this looks from all three of these perspectives too. Let's look at engaging. Now let's create a video script. And the fun thing about this is you can actually watch in real time to see just exactly how quickly this thing will spit out a pretty darn compelling market report. So in roughly 45 seconds to a minute is about how long this takes and then pow. So now right here, what you can see, it's even got your background music. You can, you can get in here, cut and paste. You can send it by email, copy this script. And it's here with, Hey folks, Richard Cox, your friendly neighborhood realtor here coming to you from the beautiful Hollingsworth park neighborhood in Greenville, South Carolina. Today, I got some exciting news to share with you all buyers and sellers out there. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back and let's dive into the market update. I mean, that's cool. It is literally yeah. sitting right there. Right. And, and also, too, from, from your perspective, what you let me on to the Captions app. And I know that you've got content on that. So for anybody that goes Captions app, what is that? 
it'll basically help you if you're if you struggle with scripting it will help through the power of ai help you not have to look like you're over here look at over here like you're reading off the side of a teleprompter um so really what that's got is cut and pasted here that's the video idea and then i'll work through this with the social Richard, thing. while mm -hmm. this is pulling up just to kind of expand on that the what we were talking about with the captions app it has the yes. ai eye contact where if you're reading a script off it will then you drop that video in there and it will take your eyes and move your eyes to where they're looking right in there so it's a great way with that video script one thing i would do want to add is all of these things that whether it be no matter whether it's chat gbt whether it's rpr anything that is ai generated just make sure it's in your own voice uh, you also want to make sure as you go in here that everything meets all of the requirements as far as legally. So just make sure you go through these things. And we're even taking some of these, Richard, where we're taking, whether it be the social campaign that we're going to go in over in just a second or the video scripts, and we're taking those and dropping those one additional step into chat GPT and asking it to SEO optimize these things before actually utilizing them, which is helping us get even more keyword and also helping us just refine it a little bit. So just a couple little things there as well, but please go ahead because this social campaign is so powerful. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and 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 two for that, Jimmy. Like you, you've got a great idea. This that that's one thing to really always keep in mind about Chat GPT or any of these other AI generated scripting services that they're not perfect. They're only as good as the input that you got in them. So don't 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 expect this to be absolutely perfect every single time. You got to get in there and proofread it a little bit. And to your point too. I've, I've, I've done this for just general email stuff. I'll, I'll pop these into email, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to change stuff around because I, the, the last time that somebody has heard me say, Hey, your friendly neighborhood realtor, that's just I, that, yeah. that somebody's going to go, who wrote this? Right. Um, but just make sure that it's something that fits for you. You make an incredible point. No matter right. what, you got to make it authentically you. This is just a leg up on the information and it kind of helps you with writer's block or if you're stuck. So, and then you can see here with uh, the social campaign stuff, all the emojis and all that gobbledygook that people have a hard time. I mean, probably one of the hardest things even for me, and I bet if if you're a little bit like me too, you know, writing prompts for listing description, yeah. writing, uh, just writing, writing captions for videos, writing captions for all that stuff. I go, golly darn it, what? I, it's so easy for me to just get on the camera and talk through what I want to talk through. And then I sit there and I look and I go, what the heck am I going to title this? Doggone right. it. Like, I mean, yeah. it's like pulling teeth for me. Um, mm -hmm. So this gives you, again, this gives you all that stuff packaged up in a very, you know, useful piece. It's got hashtags uh, added onto the end of it and everything else. But so hey, you, kind of sure. the, you kind of get the gist. Yeah, on this, like with the social campaigns, the way that we're utilizing this now, since you showed it to me, is we're utilizing this to get market, local market updates, as well as to farm groups. Um, and we're just, it, it gives us all the information just like that. And it also gives us that ability really to get local personalized. And so we're utilizing this for social campaigns as well as with the video and then having that in there. And it's been tremendous for us just to be able to have access to the correct numbers, the correct information, details on the market and post that. It helps you become that resource that everybody's looking for. It absolutely does. And it gives you the ability to you know, scale up the amount of outreach that you can have and do it in a much more impactful way for people. And you also don't have to spend a million dollars to figure out a, a new thing. And you don't have to spend 10 days trying to come up with all of the content that's necessary to be able to send out to folks in whatever medium that they are, because not everybody's going to wind up on an email list. Not everybody's looking at Instagram reels, not everybody's on YouTube shorts or whatever. So you can, you can package all this stuff up in so many different ways and send it out to folks. You're absolutely right. And it gets you the ability to go as granular as possible, even with like zip code market reports and updates so that you can get really, really, really local and down to the earth, as opposed to all what, what we normally get to see, which is the real super high level national statistics and market update stuff. So you can say, hey, listen, this is really what's happening in your backyard and be that knowledge broker to be the difference between you and the guy down the street, especially when you're in competition. Now, all of a sudden you use this on a consistent basis. You're going to be the one that people are going to come running to because you're the one that's got the value. That's exactly right. Let's talk about this analyze metrics because this is really the yeah. third tab for what you would like to do. It gets that this 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 sort of takes all of the 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 tailoring for video or for social out of it. And it just cuts you right to the numbers. And it, it just it, essentially what this, what, what analyze metrics does. So back here where that neighborhood report is, is they're just pulling everything out, but 
the actual statistics for you. So you've got a much more no nonsense, a no non no nonsense description of what's actually happening in the marketplace, where your where your momentum is heading, the statistics for average days on market, list of sold price, uh, median days uh, days on market, everything else. There, it just kind of pulls away all of the things that are tailored specifically for either video scripting or social media, and just gives you nothing but the facts. I think this is a this is a really good option for email communication. Yeah, we use it for email. We're also taking this and then dropping it into uh, Chat GPT and saying um, convert this to a one thousand word um, SEO optimized LinkedIn article. Um, and those are doing really well for us because this is more of the facts. It's typically what is what we see and uh, that does better on LinkedIn. And so this is giving us really the ability, whether we're talking about with the first step, getting the create the video script to have short form video, also to have long form video, also to have the social campaign with that tab. And then now we're hitting with the written word, whether it be a blog post, whether it be a LinkedIn post or an email uh, through the analyze metrics is the way we're using it. Um, Richard, this is so powerful. Um, and listen, if anybody has got some information that, uh, or they've got somebody that may be coming to Greenville, South Carolina. Um, obviously, uh, C. Dan Joyner Realtors, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, C. Dan Joyner Realtors um, can help. Uh, can you give them their contact, your contact information? And I know that I know people are going to utilize this. I would encourage everybody to reach out and let Richard know how much you appreciate his willingness to share this with everybody. But how would they get in touch with you, Richard? Yeah, you can always reach out to me on social media. I'm Richard Lofton Cox pretty much anywhere. Uh, and my email address is probably the easiest way to get in touch with me. I'm just Richard at cdanjoiner.com. You're my boy, Blue. Uh, hey. This has been good stuff. Anything else you want to add as we wrap up? I mean, I, I, I just, I just think use the, uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of gobble, there's a lot of stuff to be distracted by in our world of real estate. And there's a lot of shiny objects to chase around. Uh, use stuff that provides value to people at the end of the day. And this is something that is a really, really easy resource to be able to use to provide a whole heck of a lot of value to people. Always good stuff. Thank you, my friend. Um, listen, if you get some value out of this, make sure you reach, you reach out to Richard and let him know. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.